My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review for The Boy and the Heron. And look, I'm just going to tell it to you straight, I'm not an anime guy. I've tried to watch plenty of it and I just can't get into it as much as I want to. I, I, I have liked every anime movie I've seen. But I haven't loved any. And I've seen Spirited Away, My Neighbor Toto, Your Name, Akira, and Paprika. And Akira and Paprika are my two favorites of that bunch. But I just can't love these movies the way everyone else seems to. So keep that in mind when I say I found this movie to be mediocre. But let's begin talking about what I did like, and the animation is really good. There is so much attention to detail, and just everything is brought to life so perfectly. But in the last act, I really felt like it went to the next level. Some usage of colors and just the way certain environments look is beautiful. I also love the look of fire in this movie. I also think the music is perfectly fine. And then we get to the world building which I do really like. There are these parakeets that want to eat the main character that added some nice humor to the movie. It sounds weird to say it's funny but you'll know what I mean if you see this movie. Uh, then th the Heron design, I don't want to give anything away, but I thought it was so creative and so unique, so I loved that. But when it comes to the script, that is when the movie falls apart. Like, the plot is just underwhelming in every sense. The pacing is terrible. This movie takes far too long to get going. Like, you know, you watch a movie like Coraline and... She's in the other world in the first 15, maybe 20 minutes. This movie, I swear that the plot doesn't kick off until like the 50 minute mark, maybe the hour mark. Like it takes a long time and it was a real test of endurance to get to that point. I also thought the main character just wasn't compelling. Like, he can be smart, and he's clearly suffering from grief, but they don't lean into it nearly enough, and I didn't really buy his character arc by the end. I thought it felt very forced, and the emotion fell flat for me. Look, I say it all the time, but I cry all the time when watching movies, and if you don't get me to tear up, it means you did something wrong, and like... There's a part at the end of the movie where it's just like, yes, milk this a bit more, but they don't. And then the movie just ends. Like, this has one of the most erupt endings ever. And it was so unsatisfying. So, um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about this movie. I think the overall presentation is very nice, but the script is where the movie fell apart. It's... It might, it bites off more than it can chew in the last section as well. Like, it just feels like it goes a bit too big for its own good. It's a tad bit messy. It's, uh, it's lacking in character. It's lacking in emotion. And, I don't know, I guess I'll still give it a 5 out of 10 with a slight recommendation. Okay, have you seen The Boy and the Heron? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin out.